everybody, this is that girl Connor. Welcome to maybe a little bit of a different app style video that we're gonna do. So, uh, you guys are gonna see my closet today. Um, but I don't have any tea for today or a mug of the day because I'm, I'm not that prepared. I really need to clean my closet, but I've been like wanting to do a video to record it. So I... I, I got motivated today and I have to do it. I also don't know how to use my mic not set up properly. So what if I just, um, let me turn this off. Right. I'm going to look like a news recorder, which, hey, I think myself, like everybody likes to narrate the things that they're doing and pretending that they're like a famous person. So the battery of my camera is about to die. Of course, <laughs> my closet is a mess. Um, I have a huge closet. Aaron and I got this apartment um, and we moved in and it's like such a nice apartment for what we pay for it. And honestly, the closets are like a huge selling point and I will show you my closet moment <laughs> momentarily. But I also have a problem. I buy so much clothes and I've always had this problem. In the start of 2019, I made a kind of pledge to myself that I would stop buying fast fashion and I would buy most things secondhand. And the only thing I haven't bought secondhand since then is like I bought a dress to go and be a wedding guest. I bought some jeans from Old Navy, but everything else I buy basically is either from thrift stores that I go find or it's from Thrut Up where I'm specifically looking for certain things. I've been mostly shopping at thrift stores, but the issue with thrift stores is that you can go and you can still buy a lot of stuff. It's not just sustainable because if you're buying stuff that you're never going to wear, you're just hoarding clothes. Ugh. And we have to move in like next June, <laughs> which is a little bit of ways away. But if anybody has moved before, you know, it's the fucking worst, man. And I have too much shit and you just accumulate stuff and then because we moved in the middle of the pandemic we've obviously never had like a housewarming party so I feel like we've never like fully like established our bedroom and like our we even have a second bedroom and we really just call it our drunk room because like everything just gets put into there so not that I'm going to be remodeling my entire apartment but if you guys would like to see that I would love to do that um but I am going to start with cleaning my closet I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of clothes we're going to talk about a lot of clothes and you guys are going to see that I have legs today so it's a big kind of deal um so First things first, I think you guys do deserve to see it before. I will say my closet is in rare, rare form because one of the things I hate about our apartment is everything is constantly breaking in this apartment, including our washer and dryer, which is like one of the main reasons we got this place. So Erin and I hate doing laundry, especially when you have to go to the fucking laundromat. So Erin and I will like not do laundry as long as possible and then do a huge laundromat thing. And then the clothes will sit in our living room folded for days because I don't like putting it away because my closet is a mess. So we have tons of clean clothes and tons of clothes that I threw on the floor in here. Both Erin and I have a lot of clothes and I'm really exposing myself here. So I will not hear any criticism about it in the comments, please. Um, <laughs> and also I'm about to transition out of my current job, which means I will need to have some different clothes. Um, I'm a little nervous about that. So I don't want to get rid of too many of my like work things. Uh, but I have some things that have just stayed around since like college and I don't really wear anymore. I also do that thing that I think is kind of, I think it's something a lot of ladies do, a lot of female presenting people do, where you, you save clothes that you don't fit into, hoping that one day you will. And it's not like, oh, this fit me like a month ago. I, you know, it's a like clothes that I bought that I didn't try on in the thrift store and they don't fit me and they will never fit me because I don't understand what size I am or I didn't want to try them on or I don't understand how sizing worked in like older clothes. I got to get rid of them because they just make me sad and they make me feel bad about myself and I don't need to keep them in this house and I don't need to keep them here. They're just taking up space and I also would love to make it so I don't have to use that dresser for anything other than like socks and underwear and bras and tights um, and then we can use the other drawers in my dresser for like towels and bedding and stuff like that. So we have a lot of goals. I hope this video will be interesting and fun. I am going to just do a quick show around of my closet space. Um, again, I will not hear any criticism about myself in the comments, so please be nice. So, and when I say my closet, I mean my closet. There are two closets in this bedroom and we each got to have our own closet. I know, really nice apartment for what we pay. Okay. So when you first look here, it's not so bad. Okay, my pants area, 
is really uh, not the best. I don't. So yeah, pants are really, it's really hurting in there. We're gonna move forward a little bit to see my magnum opus of disaster, the floor. Um, and over here is where I keep hung shirts and folded shirts and these little drawers. Um, so yeah, we have a lot to do and this is not even all my clothes. So I'm going to charge up the battery. I'm like, I don't want to turn off the camera because I feel like I'm not going to do anything once I turn it off. Also, aggressive framing shifts. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you guys have now seen the before picture. What I'm going to do now, like I said, the battery is dying, is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to make some piles so we can maybe go through them a little quicker. Um, and I can show you guys what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to donate, and how I'm going to organize my closet. Is that interesting? I think it will be interesting. I don't know. I don't really know and then maybe if you guys do like this video I can show you guys our junk room and I can show you guys how we remodel. Okay, so it appears to me That I will just need to talk kind of loud Unfortunately Because the audio is kind of jacked. Okay. I guess I should have a, one of those mics that like I can do that with, but I, I don't have one. I didn't know. I didn't know. So anyways, like I was saying, I wanted to do like a little bit of an update so you guys could see what I was doing, what I was getting rid of, and the process we're making, the progress we're making. I think like a lot of people, mine is looking a little bit worse before it gets better, but I think that's how everybody cleans, right? So... I was kind of talking about some things I was noticing as I was cleaning. One, I buy a lot of things from the thrift store and start up, like I said, but just because I'm willing to buy stuff like from more sustainable sources doesn't necessarily mean I'm being more sustainable in my purchasing. Obviously the best thing to do is just not to buy because you want stuff. I do have a little bit of a problem with retail therapy, which got me into quite a bit of trouble with some credit cards in college. Um, and so while I told myself I was going to stop buying fast fashion, I've still just been buying too much stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm getting rid of are things that are from the thrift store that I don't pull or gravitate towards too as much or things that I refuse to try on that don't fit me. And some stuff from ThreadUp that I definitely more impulse bolt. Now the, whole, the one thing I will say with ThreadUp, um, a lot of YouTubers have done sponsorships with ThreadUp and I'm really happy that they do and I really do like ThreadUp as an app. But the thing that I will say, and this is not sponsored, I think it's really hard to tell what the fabric is of stuff when you're, when you are like on the app. Because it will say cotton and you can look at it, but it doesn't necessarily do a really great job. A case in point is a shirt that I have that I, I really like. I got it from ThreadUp, but it looks like in the picture. And the way it was described, like, it's like a, a light t-shirt material, but it's not like a jersey t-shirt material. It's like this thicker weave. It's a little bit scratchier. It's not as cozy as how I bought it. And I was kind of disappointed when it came because it's styled a little bit differently because of that. Another good example of this is this shirt I have that I'm actually giving away from Third Up. Because on the app, you couldn't tell that there was all these eyelets in it, all these cutouts. And so because of that, I, I was like, oh, it's such a cute blouse for work. I'll just wear it with like a little sweater. No, because there's all these stupid cutouts in it, I have to wear a tank top under it. And to wear a tank top with this, with a sweater, with pants that I think are like cuter with it or high waisted or even a skirt, then tuck it in. It's too cumbersome of a top and I don't like wearing it. And sometimes you are in the store and you don't realize that when you buy it but i don't think i would have gotten it if i had known that there were the cutouts in it because it would have not served the purposes i bought it for so the one thing i will say that's really great for startup though is if you are committed to buying things secondhand like i am and and the thing about secondhand shopping is it takes time you have to look especially if you're looking for certain specific things so i need a black turtleneck in my closet it's something i wear all the time especially for transitional pieces like jumpsuits or maybe tank top dresses that can work with a turtleneck under them i wear it all the time it's definitely a piece that i absolutely need to have in my closet 
last year when the turtleneck I had at the time was getting too sheer, I was able to go through, thread up, search black turtleneck and find one from a brand that I have bought from before so I could find my correct size and I have it and I really like it. But I definitely would say that there is a downside with the app that I don't see advertised as much. So I thought I would so I thought I would go through and I would show you guys what I have gotten rid of. Um, I will say there is also a fair amount of stuff I bought from prior to when Aaron and I lived together and I was working seven days a week. When I would do that, sometimes I would go to Aaron's house unplanned and to like spend the night and I wouldn't necessarily have clothes for work the next day. So I would do like a quick, let me go to the thrift store kind of place and then I would, we would go back and it would be like a date. So I did buy a fair amount of stuff that while I like, I just not stuff I gravitate towards. So I have this skirt, which I wear sometimes, but I don't love it, and it's it's a weird, I, I like it, but I don't love it, and I don't wear it as much. These two skirts, which I loved for a long period of time, especially in the summer, they're so cute, but the thing for me is that they don't have pockets, and they're just not really practical in my work life without pockets. And so, and because they don't have pockets, I don't pull for them as much, right? So they're things that I don't wear. I wore that floral skirt once in the past few years and then the other skirt which I like a little bit more is a little too big and also doesn't have pockets and I find that it's hard to match because it's like brown and blue so I don't wear a lot of stuff with it. That's the other thing I have an issue with. I love stripes. I'm trying to think. You guys probably know most of my videos I'm wearing stripes and I also love like three colors. I love that butternut squash color, sage green, and like mustard or yellow. So so much of my stuff is that color or their stripes. If I have too many I have too many pattern tops to have so many pattern bottoms with, and I need to be more mindful of that. These dress pants, which I really liked for a while, and I wore them quite often. They are high-waisted with a little, like, um, like tulipped top, and they're capris, and I liked them, but they're just not very comfortable, to be honest with you, and I, I don't pull for them very much, and I have a better pair of dress pants I got from the thrift store, actually, that I wear way more often, and they are a solid color. There's that. Let me see. I'm pretty sure this pile is also full of stuff that I'm getting rid of. Okay, these pants I got from the thrift store that I liked, but to be honest with you, I don't find them easy to dress with. The pattern is just a little too funky. I mean, I could wear it with black. It's a little too revealing, and they remind me a little too much of leggings to feel comfortable wearing them the way that I would want to style them. I wish they were a little bit more structured. Um, these jeans that I've had for a long time, they just no longer fit me. I loved them in college. They're like flared jeans right when 70s stuff was coming back into style, but they're, they just aren't my size anymore and they're not going to be. And they definitely weren't even my size when I got them because I'm seeing now that they were petite, which is not my size. Um, I'm still keeping so much crap. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to keep this sweater. I got this from the store. I don't, it's kind of a scratchy material, but I really love the color and it matches a lot of stuff and I do wear it pretty often. It's one of the few solid colored kind of like sweatery tops I have. I'm going to keep these je these pants. These are like, again, a high-waisted kind of style dress pant. Black. I like the paper bag waist and I love the tie they have on them. These are my cargo pants. I actually wear these for harvest, so I'm, I'm keeping them. I like them. These pants I've gotten a lot of wear out of. They're kind of, I've had these since my senior year of college, but you can definitely tell that they are <laughs> on their last legs. I think I could probably get through one more summer with them, but you know, it's, you know, I've had these a long time. I've had these for about four years and you know, it's, it's nice. I wear them so often. They're great because, um, I can, I can wear them to work. They're like, especially in the summer, they're nice and light. Um, you know what? This jumpsuit I have had, again, a very long time, and I really like it, and actually for a long time I didn't wear it because I didn't know how to style it, but I have figured out how to style it, but I have a couple other jumpsuits that I reach for way more because, again, this one doesn't have pockets, so it means I have to style it with something, with a sweater that has pockets, which the thing I like wearing it with most doesn't, versus the other jumpsuits I have, which do have pockets, and I love this one, but I think it's time to say goodbye. Top, I think I have a harder time getting rid of just because I, okay, we have this jumpsuit, which I, I guess I lied to you guys, because this is definitely from Amazon, I bought it within the last year, so I have not been only shopping sustainable, like, 
no fast fashion for a while. But I do like it. Here's the thing. It's a little bit heavier than I want for such a, a light and airy suit. And here's the thing that I hate about it, actually. It takes fucking forever to dry right here on the band. So I'm kind of debating about getting rid of it. So this is actually one of the things I will keep. And maybe in the comments you guys let me know what you think. I do wear it a fair amount. Um, and it's really comfortable. But it just takes a long time to dry. And it's like a little bit heavier. And this waistband, I wonder if I could cut out that stretchy elastic. Okay. Keeping this. Keeping this. Yeah. One thing. Friends. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Do not let me buy any more flowy pants. I have so many pairs and I just, I don't know why I keep buying them for myself. I don't need them. So if you ever hear me in a video being like, oh, you're kidding. I don't, I don't need them. Okay. So I'm like in the dress section of my closet now and I'm going to show you what I kept and how I'm organizing it to keep it more organized for myself. Um, all my closet, there's like three little alcoves in my closet, all with a little shelf up here, which is so nice. Up here I keep like blanket scarves and the stuffed animals that I really shouldn't have as an adult, but I do. So, this is where I'm keeping like my fancier dresses, and I don't put all my dresses away for the winter because I have enough space here. I'm keeping, this is another one that, um, whew, I have and I just don't really know it's like a big kind of bag dress from Old Navy it's denim I cut it a little bit more here because before it was a little too high on the neck I thought but I still don't know I think I'm going to try to embroider it and maybe we can do like a, a revamp with it and we can see how we feel about it because I don't love it but I, I I'm not giving up on it um which is probably my fatal flaw um, yeah, so I'm keeping a fair amount of dresses. I wear a lot of dresses. This one is a great summer dress. Love this one. Um, this one's a cute little fun dress. This is a nice dress to wear in the summer. It's kind of a little fancier. Um, it's got that little wrap style, which I like. Um, I love this dress. This is such a cute, in my favorite color, sage green, mock turtleneck ribbed. I mean, I wear this pretty often in the winter. And this is, again, something I don't wear in the height of winter but I wear it in the fall and the spring and I can wear it on like warmer days in the winter so this winter was pretty snowy but this is a great piece that I got also from Target so I don't know why I lied to you guys about how little fast fashion I have bought in the past few years this skirt is like a staple one of my pieces it's a maxi skirt I literally wear the skirt all the time and I love it so I'm not getting rid of it and that's the thing that I was able to do I was able to go through a fair amount of my stuff and be like yeah I don't wear this and I never gravitate towards it. So I think I'm actually having a harder time with shirts. The side of my closet is where I keep all my shirts both folded and hanging. And the thing is, is like, I think I have too many shirts. I mean, I know I have too many shirts and I don't wear like half of them, but I don't want to get rid of them because it's like, I need shirts and I, but I don't wear the ones that I own. And I have a lot of sweaters. So it's not quite sweater weather yet, so I can't bring them out yet, but okay, let's just do this speed round style. Okay, I'm keeping this. Love this. It's in a color that I love. This little over piece, keeping, keeping. I bought this from the thrift store thinking it would be a perfect little tank top to add to things. It's got this cute little jewel. I hate the way it looks on, and I never wear it, so I'm getting rid of it. This is another piece I bought from Thread Up, and I like it. But it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize about the ties in the back. And peplum tops don't lay on me the way that I thought they'd laid on me in 2015 when structured peplum tops were all the rage. But I am going to keep it. I do did wear it pretty often. It just does require like a little bit more. Like I have to wear a sweater with it. And I just need to work with it a little bit more. But I do like it. Keeping these. These are both sweaters. This black shirt I literally wear all the time I love this this is a third up piece too and again I end up loving this but it's not the fabric I thought it was gonna be um these two I'm keeping love now this is probably my best thing I've ever gotten from third up it's a beautiful wrap blouse for work from Zara super professional super cute I get so many compliments on it every time I wear it I love it another fantastic wrap top that I got from Zarda. 
this little tank toppy thing. Okay. We've had two winnings for wrap tops, so let me tell you. You have big boobs, wrap tops suck, okay? And the thing about them is, I don't even understand, because Stacey and Clinton always said that wrap top, wrap dresses were made for curvier women, but my tits can just not stay in them, and I don't understand. I thought they were made for curvier women, and, like, this one, if they don't have, like, a, a second wrap on the inside, I would say if you're curvier, like, a bigger chest of gal, forget about it, okay? And this is even with wearing a tank top on there. I, I cannot get it around. It like fits around my waist and then my busting out of it. So I never wear this. Gotta go. Okay. I like this rapid style. Okay. This is a cute blouse. I love the bell sleeves. And you know what? I think I'm going to start hanging up my tops because I think then I could put my t-shirts at the top. This is another thing from Threadup that I liked, and I love the concept, but and I love the fabric, but on my body, I do not love. And because of that, I never wear it, and I just don't think there's anything to happen to it to make it... I think part of it is that, like, peplum tops like this, to me, remind me of middle school. Let me know if you guys have that kind of feeling when you see something and you're like, that's middle school, that's this. I cannot wear that. That is what people wear in middle school. You know what? I haven't tried to wear it with jeans, but I wear so many high-waisted jeans... I don't think it would look good with a lot of the jeans that I like to wear. So, I really, I'm really like, but I can't get rid of it. The fabric's so soft. I, but I don't even wear it to hang out around the house. Okay, done. Gone. Gone. Okay, this I actually really like. It's a cute little t-shirt. It is, of course, a, um, a pattern because everything I own is patterns. Um... Oh, this sweater. This I got from the thrift store. It's a Talbot sweater, but I really like it. It's really cute. I'm actually gonna... I think you're not supposed to hang for sweaters, but if I don't, I don't really know how to utilize these shelves in a way. That's great. Okay. This is probably... This sweater is so hard to style. It's from Target. It's black short sleeves with these little pearls on it, and I like it in concept, but it's hard because it's like a pretty warm sweater, but in short sleeves. Why did I buy this? But I do wear it a fair amount, actually. And I, I have figured out how to style it. So. <laughs> oh, this is a short sleeve black turtleneck. Also a must-have in my closet, apparently. <laughs> I do wear this pretty often, though. Especially with outfits that I think work better, that work better. With, oh, this needs to be washed. I want to try that laundry stripping thing because I think... I have some stuff that just needs to be stripped because the armpits get kind of smelly. Okay, I guess I'm not going to hang these turtlenecks. Okay, this was a little too tight when I initially bought it. I thought it was a large, not a medium. <laughs> so I imagine it would be quite tight now. And I literally already... <laughs> This is not a black and white stripe setter. This is a navy blue and white stripe setter, but trust me, I have lots of black and white stripe things. Well, that one's nicer because it's white on black, but... I don't wear this quite as often as I wish I did, but I think part of it is because it's been folded up and hidden in my closet for the past year. So, let's get it on a hanger. I'm making myself a big commitment here by hanging up all my shirts. I doubt that I will continue to do this. Okay. This is a white and black, black and white striped shirt that I wear very often, so. You might be thinking, well, so thank you all for helping me do that. Live my life. Um, there will be more tops. Don't worry. Here's another thing I will say. I have stuff in my closet from, <laughs> like, when you move out of your parents' house for the first time, like, so I moved right out of my parents' house from college, and I will say that my parents immediately were like, oh, here's all your stuff from when you were, like, a kid, and I was like, I don't, I truly do not have space for this stuff, but you gotta keep it because you, like, don't want to get rid of it, so I put all this, like, random stuff that I want to keep for the memories, like, in 25 years, but... I don't need right now like it's it's hard it's hard to be a young adult I mean it's hard 
what I have learned in my 26 years of life is that life is in fact hard. They were right about that. It's hard to keep everything organized. It's hard to keep things not knowing what's going to be important in the future. And it's just a frustrating, it's a frustrating thing and it's a, it's an ongoing process. And I think I've been holding on to a lot of stuff that I just don't wear for reasons, but it honestly feels so relieving to let it go. Um, even though I still have so much shit in my closet because I know me and I know how much stuff I have, but <laughs> okay, I found something, right? So this is my 2010 uh, lacrosse penny from my club lacrosse team. So growing up, I played on like three different lacrosse teams. I quit right in high school because it was just too much pressure. And my, the teams I played on from sixth through eighth grade, both the school and like the local clubs team, and we've been playing together for years. So in 2010, we were the champions, like undefeated, and both for middle school and for the club team. And we got these pennies made, and I also have my undefeated <laughs> Keith Valley tie-dyed shirt still because I just, I can't give it up, right? Like, I've kept that. I have not worn that shirt in years. I don't even think it fits me anymore. How could it? And I just keep it because it's, like, such a big part of my life that so many people in my adult life don't even know that part of me. So many people from my high school life don't even know that part of me or college life but it's like hard for me to give it up because it it meant so much to me at the time and it was so meaningful I remember I had dislocated my elbow for the last two games in middle school and so I couldn't obviously play and I remember there was a girl at the time who thought I shouldn't get the undefeated shirt because I didn't play for the last two games even though I had been like a starter <laughs> the whole season and we were playing eighth grade lacrosse for the school like and I remember being so pissed and just feeling like the rest of the team was like, no, absolutely, you deserve it. And maybe people on my team are watching this video and they're like, I don't fucking remember that, Connor. You're insane. Or you are misremembering it. But it felt like such a big deal at the time to me. And it's like giving up a little piece of yourself, right? And it's like, oh, it doesn't take up that much space, but I literally never wear it. I've been carrying these things with me since I went to college and I just keep them in this... Um, in this hat box I stole from my mom to hide cat and candles in in college so it's not even like I'm honoring myself I just keep them in here <laughs> welcome to my secret hat box <sighs> we're still going <laughs> that's the other thing too <laughs> I'm glad I'm recording it because it makes me feel not like um um somebody who's having a break with reality to be talking and narrating it I hope the audio for this is not so terrible I could not figure out the microphone I just figured I would talk pretty loud I'm a loud person but it's so much I always lose steam when I'm organizing too I don't like it because the other thing too is that like organizing is a lifelong process and if you don't keep doing it forever, your closet gets messy again. And it just seems harsh that those are the- Okay, everybody. So this is my final clip in this video. Um, that first portion was filmed up a little bit ago, a couple weeks. And since then, I've done a couple things. I wanted to give what I felt would be like a pretty satisfying closet kind of redo. Um, so I actually- went to the thrift store with the specific intention of getting more baskets. Um, if you guys are experts, you would have remembered it was actually over here with some blanket scarves, but I was able to reorganize the space, get a rid of a fair amount of things. Um, as you can see, I think my pants is the best. I was able to use this basket for pants, mostly jeans. Obviously not everything fits in there, but I did buy like a fair amount. These baskets are so expensive. But, like, I went to the thrift store a couple times, like, with the mission to find baskets. And I think I got, like, six or seven of them for, like, not even, like, I don't know. Like, I think I spent in total $30 at the thrift store. I got some other stuff. So maybe, like, 15 bucks. Honestly, the thrift store has a lot of good stuff. I, I cannot say that enough. Especially if you're going, looking for certain things and you know you can take the time. I wasn't going to go invest, like, $55 in baskets. Um... But that has really helped 
organize the shelf. It's going to be a bit of a, you have to fold your clothes, you have to put them in the basket, you'll have to take this down, and maybe it will help me weave through some more jeans. I do have a fair amount of jeans, but a lot of them I use at the winery during harvest season and when we're working, like, work jeans that I also bought from the thrift store with the intention of, like, they probably will get messed up. That's fine. You spent four bucks on them. Um, I'm going to bring you guys...